what's up youtube welcome to our video in this video we will learn how we can uh, download and install a uh, sql server so first search sql server and go to the downloads here you will see two of these developer and express download the developer setup save the file now run this so uh, it's uh, giving three options choose the download media option so you won't have to download uh, the sql server again it, it will give you an offline installation of the sql server so click on this and choose the iso option choose the uh, uh, place where you want to download the uh, setup and click the download after after this you will get this setup and to download this right SSMS which is short for SQL Server Management Studio and download the latest version of the SQL Server Management Studio so after uh, downloading this you will have these two setups so run this first setup which is SQL Server 2019 or whatever version uh, you have now uh, you will install the sql server from here but before this if you uh, uh, there is a step uh, uh, in which we need to uninstall the uh, previous sql server that is installed programs and features here i will search sql and this one so I will remove all these Now I will also uh, uninstall the management studio. So now let's move to the step three, which is to install our SQL server. So we will choose the developer version I accept next uncheck this and next only select the database engine click next now we can uh, just set the default instance or we can specify our own name so i can go for war machine click next next so we will click the mixed mode so we uh, we will have the windows authentication uh, means that uh, we does not require the password for uh, this uh, uh, when we are using sql server on this windows and we can also specify a password so there is this password install so the uh, SQL server installation is complete now for the management studio
Just click install. So it's completed. After this, uh, you will write SSMS in the search and pin to taskbar. So here is your SQL Server Management Studio. Let us uh, connect with the Windows Authentication. And then we can go to uh, security, logins, and add a new login. SQL Server Authentication. This is the name of my user, and this is the password. I will also need to go into the server roles and assign this uh, the DB creator and this system administration then click ok now if i disconnect this and connect this again i can go to the sql server authentication write war and the password connect now it's asking for the new password so i will write the same password that i written before so now my war user is logged in so you can see that it is logged in uh, the first thing you need to do is go uh, into the tools options in the designer section uncheck this prevent saving changes to table recreation it will help us later now inside the new query we will write our query here there is a database folder and inside this there will be our database which we will create so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time